we discuss right now about troubleshooting for induction sensors. Induction sensors is used for electronic engines, for exhaust bulb position, plunger, fuel plunger position, and FIBA position. Okay, this video is intended for simulation and troubleshooting. After this one, you determine if the sensor is defective and you can replace with a new one. This is the induction sensor A64-6622 Senaco. By the way, our main engine is electronic MAN BNW MEC. Inductor sensor maker Senaco. And then this is the terminal. Terminal wires 1, 2, 3, 4. It has a 4 wires. These 4 wires we need to simulate because we have a problem we already replaced. And then this is how to simulate this induction sensor so that we know if this induction induction sensor is working or not right now we are here in electrical workshop to simulate this induction sensor we need 24 volts DC Actually, the wire has it has a number. Number one is positive. Then number two is negative. One and two is the power supply, and three and four is the output. Output is four to twenty milliamps. This three and four. We need to connect our multimeter. Three is the positive and four is negative. This is our multimeter fluke 177 we put at uh, milliamps milliamps mode so that we can read the output for this induction sensor we connect this output for induction sensor so that we can we can read if this sensor is giving us correct output previously we we have a problem about this but we already throw that one even if we have a supply but there is no output means defective this is new spare and we need to simulate this one this is simulation so that we already know how to simulate this induction sensor. One and two. One is the positive, two is negative, and using multimeter the current mode so that we we know what is the output. 3 and 4, 3 is the positive, 4 is negative. Okay, that is the connection going to the multimeter. There is no object detected if the plunger 
hits the certain distance for this induction meter 20 milliamps is the maximum and the minimum is 4 milliamps 4 milliamps is actually heating the sensor this one it means this sensor is good for for reference only I have this tape measure this is this is a what you call this uh, a sample so that we we know what is the distance not accurate but specific distance almost a 10 10 millimeter right now 4 milliamps heating heating the tip of the induction sensor and starting to raise up 8 9 the middle is 8 15 16 milliamps 20 milliamps 20 milliamps is almost 8 10 millimeter starting going down until it hits the sensor that is 4 milliamps okay maximum 4 milliamps uh, sorry 20 milliamps and then minimum is 4 milliamps that's it I have here the induction sensor part number P9083 the difference about the exhaust valve and the plunger position induction sensor is the length of the the length of the sensor but the terminals is almost the same this is a new spare the terminal tagging is almost the same first one again one is positive two is negative negative 24 three and four you need to connect to the multimeter three is the plus and then four is the minus negative right now we know how to simulate this one and we know how to determine if the sensor is good or bad okay just simulate it we are here in MOPA this is the view of troubleshooting under maintenance under maintenance troubleshooting and then you can see exhaust valve position right right now it's running mode our engine is running mode this is the reading for our number one cylinder number two you can choose number two number three number four until six we have six cylinder in this view you can check the check the current current output for each position and stroke it's equivalent stroke for plunger position exhaust valve position FIBA position note we are we are running our main engine right now
we have here main engine stop then this is the parameters for the exhaust valve plunger position and FIBA position number four number five number six you can choose also the plunger position exhaust valve position for testing and PC mode testing you can simulate this plunger position by clicking the MPC mode to test mode and then plunger inject and return exhaust open and close or cyclic test main engine STX man BMW engine type 6 S50 MEC dash C model 6S50 ME dash C 8.2 7310 kilowatt at 115 rpm date 2016 weight 2210 kilogram Thanks for watching and hope you know how to determine whether the sensor is defective or not. You know how to simulate. Terminal 1 is positive. Number 2 is negative. That is 24 volts and the output is 3 and 4. 3 is positive and negative probe for the number 4. Okay. I hope you learn from it. If you learned from this video, click like, share, subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for more updates and follow us on Facebook, Barco TV. Thank you very much.